Hi there. Welcome to this math strategy video. We're going to show you how to solve different problems. Today, we're going to look at solving subtraction problems with decimals by using place value. We're going to try three problems. 3.4 take away 1.5, 5.43 subtract 1.6, and if you're really brave, 3.124 minus 1.65. We'll use some different materials to learn how to do this. We have place value cubes that come in ones, tens, hundreds, and thousands, but we're going to use them for ones, tenths, hundredths, and thousands. We'll also use some number lines. Let's get started. To do this first problem, I'm going to show you a couple of different ways. The first way is with place value cubes. Now normally, you'd use this stick as a 10, but we're going to use it today as a 1. So that's 1, that's 2, and that's 3 for my 3.4, and I'm going to put 4 1s for my tenths. So 3 1s, 4 tenths, and I want to take away 1.5. So that means I need to take away 1 whole, 1, so 1 of these, and 5 of these. Problem is, I don't have 5 of these, I only have 4. So I'm going to need to trade one of these for 10 more tenths. So now that I've got 10 and 4, I've got 14. I can take away my 5. So that's 1 point, um, 4. Take away sorry, 0 0.5, and that equals 0 0.9. And then I'm going to take, I've got two left, so two, take away one, and that is one. So one plus 0 0.9 equals 1.9. Okay. The second way I'm going to show you is with a number line. So on our number line, we've got 3.4. So I'm going to take away first 1, so that gives me 2.4, and then I'm going to take away 0 0.5, so that's 5 tenths from 2.4, which is 24 tenths, so that gives me 1.9 tenths, sorry, 1.9. To do this problem, there's actually a little bit of a trick. A lot of people would think that it's 5.43, take away 1.6, so 43, take away 6, is 37. That's not the correct answer. It's actually 5 ones, 4 tenths, and 3 hundredths, take away 1, 1, and 6 tenths. So the 6 tenths and the 4 tenths are what are the same, not the hundredths and the tenths. So to do this, or to show this, I'm going to use these big blocks as my ones. So that's one, two, three, four, five. And I've got four of these blocks as my tenths, and I've got three hundredths. So when I'm actually doing this, I don't I start with three hundredths and I'm not taking away any hundredths. So we're just gonna put these off to the side and keep them there. Next thing is, I've got 4 tenths, and I'm taking away 6 tenths, but I can't do that, so I need to take one of these hundred, these um, ones, and exchange it for 10 tenths. So now I've got 4 tenths, and 10 tenths, 14 tenths, so that's um, 1.4, take away 6, 0 0.6, so 6 tenths. So there's 5, 6 and those are gone. So I have left 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8 tenths. Okay, so move those right there. I've got five ones, but I have now four because I exchanged one. So four take away one equals three. Plus I've got my 0 0.3, so uh, 0 0.03, sorry. Um, so I've got three plus 0 0.8 plus 0 0.03 equals 3.83. Okay, so I'll just move those out of the way and do it again with the number line. 
So we start at 5.43 and we're going to take away minus 1 and that becomes 4.43. Then we're going to take away our 0 0.6 and that becomes 3.83. If it's easier for you, instead of writing 1.6, you could write 1.60. So they have the same things, and then it's a little bit more, it makes a little bit more sense to do it that way. I'm going to do this last problem just with numbers. So we're going to start at 3.124. So that's three ones, one tenth, two hundredths, four thousandths, take away one one, six tenths, and five hundredths. So there's no nothing that goes with a thousandths. So I know that I'm going to actually have 0 0.004 take away 0 is 0 0.04. It's really important to note that. Next thing I'm going to do is two tenths take away five tenths. Can't do that. So I'm going to borrow one so that's going to be or sorry one tenth so it's going to be 0 0.12 take away 0 0.05 which is 0 0.07. Um, then since I've used that, I can't take away my 6 tenths, so I'm going to need to borrow 1. So that'll be 1.0, take away 0 0.6, and that equals 0 0.4. And then I've taken 1 from there. So 2 take away 1 equals 1. I add it all up. 1 plus 0 0.4 plus 0 0.07 plus 0 0.004 equals 1.474. I hope that helped. After I'm done talking, I'm going to put some problems up on the screen for you to practice. Pause the video and try the problems. When you're done, unpause the video to check your answers. If you didn't understand something in this video, go back and watch parts of it again. You can use the timestamps on the bottom of the video in the description to find the different problems. Thanks a lot, and see you next time.